topic of this video is transforming exponential functions. This is a continuation of the previous video. All right, so we're going to transform again. Uh, once again, the graph in the upper left hand corner is our library function, our basic function, our parent function, y equals 3 to the x power. We're going to transform it with uh, reflections or spinning this time. All right, we're going to go from the graph in the upper left to the graph in the lower left. So what's changing and how? Well, it appears that if we take the graph that is shown here in the upper left, and if we spin it around the y-axis, then we get the graph shown here in the lower left, which makes this a horizontal reflection. Horizontal reflections change equations by replacing x with negative x. So the equation of the graph in the lower left here is y equals 3 to the negative x power. Now, going from the upper left to the lower right, we notice that the change is a spin around the x-axis, where up becomes down and down becomes up. So in this particular instance, this is indicative of a vertical reflection. And the way an equation changes for a vertical reflection is it is multiplied by negative 1 on the right-hand side. So taking this equation and multiplying by negative 1 on the right-hand side gives us this equation down here, y equals negative 1 times 3 to the x power. If I scroll down here, it reveals that both of the things that we stated previously are accurate. This graph is 3 to the negative x power. It was a y-axis reflection, a horizontal reflection. And this one is negative 1 times 3 to the x, which is an x-axis reflection, a vertical reflection. All right, we can even combine our transformations together. Okay, let's start with our graph in the upper left-hand corner and change it into our graph in the lower left-hand corner. Here's a piece of advice that I have for you whenever you're dealing with multiple transformations within a single graph. Make the shape match first, then shift it into, po into position. All right, so let's define two shapes here. Our middle two graphs have shapes. So we're going to call the graph on the left the water slide and the graph on the right the waterfall because that's what they resemble. So taking a look at the graph in the upper left and knowing that we want to turn it into the graph in the lower left, we can see that it's changing shape. So we're going to go from the graph in the upper left to one of these two middle graphs so that the shape matches what we're looking for in the lower left graph. Well, the lower left graph is clearly a waterfall. So we need to go from our parent graph to our waterfall graph as the very first transformation step, which means our first transformation is an x-axis reflection, a vertical reflection. All right, now we have this graph in the middle right, and we want to turn it into this graph in the lower left. So how does the graph change? Well, the anchor point has to go from a negative 1 up to a positive 3. That's a shift up four steps. So we take this equation here, and we add 4 to the right-hand side. We get y equals negative 1 times 3 to the x power plus 4. All right. Last one. We're going to go from here in the upper left to here in the lower right. First, make the shape match. The shape of the lower right is waterfall. So that means we're going to go from upper left to middle left is the first step. That changes our shape to be waterfall. So now we're dealing with this equation, y equals 3 to the negative x power. Now let's look at our anchor point. It needs to go from an x-coordinate of 0 to an x-coordinate of negative 3, three steps to the left. That means replace the x in this equation with an x plus 3. And because we're making a replacement, we need to make sure that we put it in parentheses or else we get a wrong answer. Uh, I apologize. It's only two steps. I am so sorry. Uh, two steps to the left. So we're going to place it with an x plus 2. So our new equation, the equation of the graph in the lower right-hand corner, is y equals 3 to the negative parenthesis x plus 2 close parenthesis power. This represents both a y-axis reflection and a shift left to in the same graph. 